wanted to make something that was fun and inviting and encouraging for adults to do during the summer. We put so much attention on the kids and teens that we were like, why can't adults have as much fun too? So we kind of thought long and hard and we didn't want to do a boring summer reading program that um, we have kind of done in the past. We didn't want to do a bingo card. So we did challenges. So we made 15 challenges for our adults to tackle, but we didn't want it just to be about reading. So we came up with the theme of 10,000 experiences so that people could experience our county, our state, and our libraries as well. So our challenges include everything from eating in Minnesota delicacies such as Spam, or as I discovered, pasta salad, which is just basically summer hot dish. And um, exploring Washington County parks, and we actually gave away a parks pass as a grand prize. Um, so it's a fun collaboration we do with another department in the county. We do have traditional ones like take a literary road trip with a Minnesota author and read a book. Listen to an audio book on a road trip or try a graphic novel or a teen book. So we try to push people outside of their comfort zones um, within the library walls and outside the library walls. So this is our live, our card. This is our third version. Um, every year we do a little tweaking to keep it fresh. On the back there's the, six, the 15 challenges and a spot for your name and a contact information. And you complete six of the 16. Um, once you complete all six, you bring it to the library and you show a librarian that you completed your game card. And we will give you a prize pack, which comes like this. And on the inside, there is a reusable Washington County straw with a cleaner. Um, a really super cool babe decal and then a book coupon for a free book from any of our library book sales that are always ongoing. So you can just pop into whichever one you're nearest and pick up a new book that you can drop in the lake and not feel bad about. Last year we had, I believe it was just over 700 that completed game cards last year. So that was pretty exciting. Our first year that we did it was 2017, that summer. And we had really hoped to just get 25% completion rate, but people were really excited and we got almost a 50% completion rate. So we slowly keep increasing as we go each year. And last year we had almost 700 completed game cards, which is really exciting for a summer reading program that is still in its infancy and trying to figure out all of its kinks. And it's a great way for families to do it together. Um, they always say that it's best that we're always examples for the younger kids. Um, and now adults and teens and kids can do things together. And we've kind of melded our program so that there are ways that across the board you can do one activity and check it off on all three cards. If you go to washcolib.org, it's our website, super easy to remember. Um, right on the front there's a running banner, just click on it and you can find more information not only for adults but for the kids and teens as well.